It's Boss versus Western in today's showdown. 20 years of running Boss and over 13 years of running Western. I'm going to relate with you everything that I've learned about these two snow plows so you guys and gals out there can make the right purchases. Able from the controllers to the cutting edge to the spring return to how the actual plows hook up to the pickup trucks. We're going to go over all of it, including the response that you may or may not get from the companies when an issue arises. So let's get into it. First off, I'm going to cut through the bullshit. I have absolutely zero brand loyalty. The only thing I like about a brand is if that brand proves itself to be reliable long term and doesn't give me any issues. With that being said, that's the criteria I've set forth when I'm weighing my options on these things and giving you my two cents. It is all just two cents. It's two cents plus 20 years of experience. I'm here to present real facts and raw data so you can make the right decision for your company. All right, let's take a look at the back of a Boss DXT. This is a hydraulic forward spring return V plow. Why that is important is because if you don't keep the plow in the fully V'd function and you put it in the, leave it in the scoop position, the extra stress can cause premature failure of those two springs. For longevity, Keep it V'd. This means the hydraulics push the plow into the scoop position and the spring pulls it back into the V position. Whenever this plow is resting, it needs to be fully in the V position or those springs are gonna get shot. Now this plow also uses the, the Boss Smart Hitch pin, uh, pin system. Now I wanna back this up. This pin system must be aligned precisely or you are not going to get this plow to hook up properly. That pin right there has to slide into the slot and then it gets hooked into place. All right, let's take a look at how the Western snow plows hook onto the truck. It is a much more forgiving, much more intuitive system and it uses two hooks where the pins are actually on the outside of the bottom frame. Easy to see, easy to know where you're at when you're trying to hook the plow up. You can get the plow just close and you know which way you've got to go. I like how the Western hooks up to the truck. I'm sorry about the snow covering the system here, but right there where I'm pointing, that's the hook. That's the pin. That's as simple as it gets. That hook flops over that pin. Bam, you're in business. Absolutely love how the Western hooks up to the truck. Next, let's talk about the lift system on these snow plows, Western versus Boss. A Boss system uses a hydraulic ram to lift it both up and down. Now, a lot of guys are going to jump on the bandwagon and tell you that if you have a breakdown, you can't chain your plow up. That's wrong. That's simply wrong. I can't tell you how many times we've chained up a Boss snow plow. You simply drive it into a snow bank, it raises up on its own, and then you put a chain from the front of the plow back around the T-bar between the two headlights and you chain it up into place. Yes, the Western is easier to do, but either or, each plow can be chained up if you have an issue with it and need to get it into a repair shop. Now we've ran Boss V-plows, Heineker V-plows, Western V-plows, and I will tell you the Heineker V-plow also uses a hydraulic ram up and down. It is much more difficult to chain up a Heineker plow because you do see that we don't have a crossbar. On to the controllers. To. First thing I'm going to recommend you do is get a joystick. They are so much more easier to use. Every one of my operators prefers a joystick over a button controller, but this is the Boss button controller. What I like about this controller is the power buttons on the top right there. It's away from the main controls. Now look closely. You have five buttons on the face. The center button does both up and down, but that's still just one button. Each wing has its own button. It's a very easy joystick to use. Now compare this to the Western, which has a total of nine smaller buttons on the face, plus the two bottom wing buttons those have two functions on their own. Furthermore, you need to hold the lower button to activate the Western snowplow into the float mode. Now, some people love the Western snowplow controller. That's fine. For me, after 30 some years of snow plowing, I've come to favor the simpler, the better. I know that when you're plowing for 24 to 36 hours straight, it's easier when you have less buttons to hit and less to think about. This is the Heinecker V controller. It has only two buttons on the face and the rest of it is controlled by that little thumb joystick in the middle. Absolutely amazing snowplow controller that's been around for 15, 20 years and given absolutely no problems. 
by far, hands down, my favorite controller. Although the Western Snowplow controller comes in dead last on my list, the Western Snowplow comes in first for actual power to the wings. Look at this pile of snow that I'm moving in front of my plow right there. The Western Snowplow can easily beat both Heinecker and Boss for actual power to the wings. That is the ability to manipulate each wing independently and move and carry snow. A lot of times what happens is as the snow piles up in front of the plow, the wings lose power and you can't push forward with the wings and there'll be times when you're pushing so much snow that the plow actually goes into V position when you need it in scoop position. Western does not have that problem. Simply said, Western has the absolute most power to the individual wings between Boss, Heinecker, or Western. Western, by far, leads the pack in power to the wings. Now, next up on our list is, is a discussion of the cutting edges. What I'm going to show you could potentially be an isolated incident that only happened to both of my brand new Western MVP3 plows that had between 50 and 55 hours on them. But right here, you can see the new cutting edge and the cutting edge after exactly 54.97 hours. The installer was great to work with, but Western, as a manufacturing company, left me in the dark. Per hour on just your cutting edge by that. Yeah. Like I say, I wish I had a definite cast in stone answer for you, but I don't. Many yeah, I know. That's Western. I called up. You talked to the rep. I did. I actually had the rep come out, Jeb. Western's attention to service and minimally at least addressing the issues that their customers could potentially be facing with their products has been absolutely non existent, at least in this specific case. We also use Western snow plows on our skid loaders and some of our other snow removal equipment. Now I hope Western takes steps to improve their customer service and I would love to hear your experiences with Boss, Heinecker, and Western. In the comments down below the video, please let us know the good, the bad, and the in-between. What has been your experience dealing with uh, the issues that these snowplows have? How do you like your snowplows? Would love to hear from you.